Okay, party people, do you remember I told you to take some of that like starter, the yeasty kind of thing, throw it into a jar? Well, here it is. We're two days later. And in those two days, I just took two tablespoons of flour and you know, a little bit of basically equal parts water and I kept feeding it. Every day I feed it. I feed the dogs, I feed the kid, and then I feed the starter. The starter smells better than the other two. You take a look inside of there, you'll see it's bubbling away, looking gorgeous. That's what we're after. So now we're taking this starter and we're gonna take half of it and we're gonna make a sourdough bread. Oh boy. Take a look inside, slurry goodness. Got the yeast going on. All we're gonna do now is incorporate some all-purpose flour until we get like a dough-like consistency. And then we'll probably add another, let's say three quarters of a cup of water. We're just gonna stir it around and basically what you're after, I mean like, listen, there's recipes out there and they're gonna give you exact amounts and stuff like that, but this is all about feel. You wanna get it dry enough where the dough is actually taken off the side of the bowl. And then we're gonna add a little bit of water at a time and then bring it back to dough consistency. And we're gonna work it and it's gonna be an all day process, but you know what? We have all day. See you back in a bit. Getting there. When it's wet like this and sticking everywhere, you're just gonna add a little bit more flour. Okay, so we're there. How do we know we're there? Well, the side of the bowl is kind of clean. You can pick the dough up and you can kind of fold the dough into itself and it's not grabbing your hands. If it's grabbing your hands, you need to go a little bit more flour, but this is the texture we're after. Okay, and we're just gonna fold the bottom up like this. And what does this have in it? It's just the starter. It's a little bit of flour, probably about a cup of flour and about half a cup of water. Okay, then we're just gonna give it a light dusting with more flour and we're gonna drop a rag over top and guess what? We're gonna come back in Mm, two hours for when it's multiplied itself by like 65%. See you soon. Look at that rise. It's alive. It's alive. It looks a little wetter than I'd like it. So we're gonna have to add a little bit of flour and you can see because just when I touch it, it's starting to stick to the bowl. You kind of see that? So that's what we're kind of, it's okay. It's all right. Cause you want a little wetter until we go into the last stage. And I'm just gonna bring it down off the bowl. We have to add two things. So basically all we have in here is, you know, uh, yeast, remember that sugar, uh, flour and water. So now what we have to do, because it's acting a little fast, is take it out of the bowl. Oh, you know what? It feels nice. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna retard the yeast because it's like, it's alive and it's going crazy. So if we do that, we slow it down, we make it like normal. We just give a little bit of kosher salt, one, two, and then also a touch of extra virgin olive oil. And we're just gonna prepare that olive oil with a little bit of flour and then fold it all in. It's gonna stick to the table a little bit. It's gonna be a bit of a pain, but it's okay. The reward is far worth it. And I know you've been at this for a couple days, feeding your starter, and then it's a, like a work in progress. But why do you think those like expensive bakeries charge $6 for a loaf of bread? Cause it takes a little bit of work. So put your head down and just need it. Just give it, just keep going. You got this, all right? That, that's like, that's the feeling you want. I don't know if I can describe that feeling. All I can describe it as is it feels good. Okay, so now flour. I got some cheesecloth. I got a bread rising pan here. The dough goes in. A little bit extra flour on top. We're gonna fold it in. Hey, how are you? Put it to bed, into the fridge. 24 hours. I know, I know. We're gonna get there. It'll be okay. I know you're impatient. It'll be all right. Okay, so we're 24 hours later. Let's take a look at our sourdough 24 hour rise. Peel back this cheesecloth. It's like, you know, it's like 50% bigger. It's got a little poof. It's looking nice. So, what we wanna do is fire that in the oven. The oven set at 450 convection, hot, hot, hot. This comes right out of the fridge. Just be really, really gentle. Snap. What do we need now? What do we need? We need to cut because it's gonna blow up and we wanna like make all the uh, expansion come out of one side. So really super sharp knife. This should be a razor blade, but I'm all out. We got rid of the razor blades when we're in. 
What am I trying to say? We well, just don't want razor blades around at this time of year right? when you're hanging out with your family for 10 days straight. Okay, extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> uh, lots of olive oil. And then you know what? Tons of salt right on top. Just crush it. Give it a little rub down with the olive oil. Spread it around. Pop her into the oven. Ready for this? How long is it going to take? I don't know how long it's going to take. But I think it's going to be like, let's go at 25 minutes, maybe 30. Here we go. Ready? You ready for this? Oh, I see peanut butter sandwiches in your future. Oh. Not bad for day two. Let it rest for 10 minutes. I crack this baby open, see what we got inside. She's crushed on the outside, buddy. Steamy. Goodness, give that a sniff. That smells dreamy. A little bit of butter. Try. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> I'm taking it. You can't take it. All right, I'll get my own.